Meanwhile, after yesterday's shooting, Congressman Thomas Massey just introducing a bill that would let those who have concealed carry permits in their home state uh, to do so in Washington, to do so in Washington, D.C., where they work. Uh, he is a Republican from the beautiful state of Kentucky. He joins us right now. Sir, very good to have you. Thanks for having me on, Neil. Look, from, from the description of the incident yesterday that I received from my colleagues, it's clear that the Capitol Hill police who were there were heroic, but had Steve Scalise not been there, there would have been far more, there would have been fatalities, and uh, a lot of congressmen would have been hurt. What I'm trying to do is anticipate how to avoid uh, a tragic situation in the future, and I, you know, what the American people don't realize is most congressmen do not have a security detail, and we are as exposed as the general public is exposed when they come to visit our nation's capital. That is to say, on Capitol we, grounds, you do, that, but not when yeah, you're off the Capitol. You don't. That's right. That's right. As soon as we step into Washington D.C. or anywhere in the public, we are unarmed and unaccompanied for the most part. But I don't want to extend a special privilege just to congressmen. I. I recognize that everybody has the right to defend themselves, and that's in the Constitution. So the bill that I have introduced today, I'm literally going to walk here to the floor and drop it in the hopper in just a second. It will allow anybody who has a concealed carry permit in their home state to, to use that permit here in Washington, D.C., as if it were a driver's license. What if you don't? I'm, I'm sorry, Neil? What if you don't? What if you come from a state that does not allow that? Well, you can apply for a non-resident permit in Washington, D.C. if you don't have a permit from your state. That provision is in the bill. In fact, it makes it slightly easier for you to get one of those per non-resident permits in Washington, D.C. All right, D.C. in the meantime still has some of the strictest gun control laws in the country, I believe, Congressman. So people hearing this will say, all right, well, the good Congressman has made sure that he and his fellow Congressman are are protected, but we're not. Now, I know what you said about trying to provide this for, for all, but if you are living in the district now and you don't have this right now, how, how could you, under this measure, get that? Well, we're working on legislation to do that as well, to make it easier for residents. Because there, if, even though they can't apply for a permit, there are fewer than 200 people in Washington, D.C. that have successfully completed that permit process. So we need to work on that as well, but, but as the somberness of this situation you know, sets in here on Capitol Hill, yesterday we were all sort of in shock, but today I think we need to start thinking about what to do in the future to prevent further episodes or to ameliorate those conditions. The irony, Neil, is that those of us in Congress who don't have police details, we are safer in our home districts where many of us do carry concealed weapons. We just want to be able to extend those privileges to those who come here to visit us in Washington, D.C., and also for us to be able to exercise our, our rights as well as their rights. Do you um, think that maybe you and your colleagues uh, there are 435 in the House, 100 in the Senate, should have uh, security protection, uh, that, it, that it might be rather expensive, but, but the risk of not having it in light of what happened yesterday shows that it might be worth it. I would rather us just have the ability to defend ourselves and, and for our staff, frankly, uh, to be able to, to defend members. Many of my staff are qualified to handle a firearm. I know, but, but you to, know what I'm getting at, sir, is that, that yeah. sometimes arguments can get heated on the Hill, and I'm yeah. just wondering if you're, Yo, if you all have a carry, you know, point, and all of a sudden you, it's getting really nasty. I mean, you could start shooting at each other. Well, I, it doesn't happen at home, and I don't think that would happen here. But to your point, if groups of congressmen congregate, I think common sense would say that there probably should be uh, a level of police protection there, uh, even if one of them is not a member of leadership. And by the way, my, my prayers are going out to Steve Scalise. We're all hanging on every word or piece of information that, that we get on his condition. All right. Thank you, sir, very, very much.